Welcome back to the finish line and our 2020 Chetland Festival preview. We pulled it off, lads. No, we managed it, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> we did. It's just, you know, people were saying, why didn't we live stream it or whatsoever? Um, we did try. No, if we did, lads, we wouldn't be sitting here right now because we were probably taking off the air. Um, yeah. Shenanigans all night. And even like, yes. having a chat with the lads on the panel, like everyone was saying, they're so much better live when you don't stream them because you can say whatever you want to say. Yeah, there's, there's far as and against it. Like, um, yeah. like I, a lot of the lads that watch this would have liked it to be live streamed, but then what was said on the night wouldn't have been said if it was like, yeah. well, I would have said whatever I'd say. <laughs> so what I was. It is what it is, so look, like. I think if we do these videos and look, maybe next year, I think we're, we're aiming for bigger and better things, aren't we? Yeah. So, I don't know. So can go. We'll see what we can do next year, but maybe if there's two live previews, maybe, or one big one somewhere. Mm. The panel was good, though. What? The panel was good. It was very good. Jay, Jay Mangan. Uh, unbelievable. Jay knows knowledge. her stuff. Unbelievable yeah. knowledge. Yeah. She got poor James from, James from uh, Ladbrokes up. Oh, poor, poor James from Ladbrokes got an awful time. Oh, he got Jay, everything he said, James. We, we, poor James. He did like, <laughs> uh, James, let us know if you got sacked, because the yeah. prices you were giving us were. James James let, it, James let it slip that Jane asked him for a 10 to 1 about Easy Land in the cross country and James said yes and then went no 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 no, no. And we said, and we only for it. Jane yeah she only was, for um, Jane she was drawing pictures on our on our booklet at one stage and we were talking about Paisley Park and I was like you're drawing me a picture she's like no I'm just bored why is he still talking about this race I don't know who was talking at the time but it was like Paisley Park is, is going to win can we not talk about something that's else? what I said yeah. Paisley Park next put the microphone down Oh, look, we get to everything everyone said when we, went through, when we go through all the races. So, let's kick off. Day one, Supreme Nows Hurdle over two miles. So, we have prices from Labrooks are five to two, Shishkin. How do I work this one? Oh, it's Tom. This is Tom's, I don't want to work There you it. go. Yeah. Five to two, Shishkin. Uh, five to two, Envoy Allen. Three to one, Asteria for Lange. Six to one, Abracadabras. Eight, Filler on the Roof. Nine, Chantry House. And 16 to one, Bigger the rest. You've just read out half the wrong prices there anyway. No, when I you did. got halfway down, you moved over. Did I? You got down to Abra Kebab. Abra oh, Abra right, hold up. And you moved Correction. over to William Hill. Filler on the roof, seven to one. Um, Chantry House, 15 to two, and 16 to one to bar. That's why Ash should just go on to Labrooks instead well, of the other done. one. We should have just gone on to Labrooks very shortly. But there we go. Um, That's why I run the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I actually like what you're doing here, Tom. I like... Andrew made that mistake there, like that wasn't your fault. Yeah, it wasn't. Let's see how many prices next to each other. Ah, there's loads. Just You'll be fine. Go you can see you straight can, down the list. <laughs> you can see what the value is then. Sometimes it's not with Labrooks, sometimes it is with Labrooks. Sure. I like Sport this. Because, stand -up. I like this because now I know the best price for my outsider in this is with Labrooks. Ooh. Ooh. Good Ooh. luck. Interesting. Right, go on. Shiskin, yes or no? I can't knock him. Um, I, uh, this is just there he opened this race. I think we've spoken about a steering for Lange. Uh, we like him. Talking to the panel uh, the other night, nobody seems to be worried about his jumping apart from me. Um, so that kind of put that to bed very quickly. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think I think he's got a very good chance. I love the way he gallops. I love the way he quickens up. And I can't, like, I can't knock Shiskin. I don't like Cadabras. Fiddler on the roof, I can see staying on for a place, definitely. Because um, I think you have to stay to go well in this. But for me, it's a steering for lunch. Mm -hmm. I lay Shishkin all day. Nicky Henderson has an awful record in this. An awful record. The only horse he's ever to win it was Altior. He's never won it before that or after it. He buys this type of horse that just needs a bit of time and blah, blah, blah. He looks flashy, but I guarantee you he'll shit the bag once he sees the hill. He won't get past the steer for Falange. There's talk that Kevin Sexton said if the ground comes up heavy, Envoy Allen is going supreme. Yeah, it won't be heavy. Your man said yesterday you know, that they, they, over the next week they expect the ground to, to get a little bit better, so it'll be very good this afternoon. Uh, this, God only knows what's going to happen this weather. Though. It dries yeah, up so no, fast. Though. It's going to dry up, there's not going to be much rain now. Yeah, but anyway, um, I'm all over Sierra Flange from this. I think he's going to get us off to a great start again. Um, I have been, and I am all over a Syrian for launch. Uh, I'd lay Shishkin, said it in the videos, gave a few comments back to people. And oh, hey, 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 hey. Last week. Where's the comments? Where's the questions? Well, this is a Chetland video. It doesn't matter. No, no, we don't have time no for No questions. No questions. No comments and questions. Straight um, no kissing for Chetland. 
the, 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 lots of people are on about the, sure dead, right? <laughs> lots of people are on about um, the time of his race and all that like and the stats and blah 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 I wouldn't even look into that yeah he's he's fast that's so Keeve does look into stats he's he's fast right the time in the Newbury race was fast he beat Rags the second time that Sham Blue that he bet uh, of um, mm. uh, Nicholas's no, Stan Skelton's, I think. Skelton's. Um, he was talking him up. He's useless. He's actually terrible. Um, Shantry House is going to go here. I was a bit disappointed because I thought he had a lovely mark for the county mm. hurdle and I thought it was an obvious one for the county hurdle. He got in off like 141. I thought he'd hose up in the county hurdle, but obviously he's decent enough to go here. And my outsider is the one I put up in one of the Andy Post videos, Edward Stone. I think he's forgotten about because of his the race of Haydock and I just totally discount any race of Haydock if a horse loses he's at work tell us how you really feel about Haydock it's the worst course ever that's it's a horrible really course it's, it's a horrible nearly course. as bad as watching Doncaster the weekend oh, Jesus that was the worst we, we had a fair few texts about how that was the worst weekend racing ever yeah. I enjoyed it it was one weekend I got to sit down my car broke down she it's went off wedding dress way, dropping I was sat down on my own and that muck was on I was terrible and you know what it wouldn't have been too bad if Newbury hadn't been called off yeah. well, it is what it is I was watching uh, Ridia or whatever it's called in bloody Saudi Arabia from Stop. Most of <laughs> 20 million for a race yeah interesting anyway wonder where that money's coming from Asterion for lunch for me <laughs> and Edward Stone each way Tom I'll take Asterion for lunch I'm not as against Shishkin as you are, though. I, I think he'll definitely be in one of the places. I think Asteria Falange wins every day of the week. And a little each way on Captain Guinness. Just a quick shout out to the Donnellys who are running these two horses against here, against each other here. There's, not, there's not many owners that do that. Yeah. Oh. Fair play to them. They've clearly left it up to their trainers, <laughs> which like most owners really, really, really should do unless... I should obviously listen to the owners. And the, both, the, both, uh, are the trainers and both trainers are saying, look, they have the best chance yeah. in this race, so... Willie Mullins came on, I don't know, it was at the race, a race in the UK, and they asked him about where's the train I want to go. The trainer said, do what you want with him. I like it because you could split him up and neither of them could win. Exactly. So, yeah. like. Run him in the best race, they yeah. have the best chance for him. Good luck to him. Hysteria for lunch all day long. Right, on to. Hey, you do that. I'll do this. We're on to the Arkle next. So, we have Notebook. Hurry up, come on. G oh, Jesus, you don't know what's next. Uh, notebook, five to two. Fakir, do the re, five to one. Cashback, sixes. Brewing up a storm, 13 to two. And 12 to one, bigger the rest. Notebook, lads. Seriously. Yeah, we were all chatting about how he jumps the, the other night as well. And er everyone loves him. Interesting, I didn't notice that he bolted the wrong way around my footstep. And how you didn't see that? I didn't see it at all. Oh, he went. Um, he went after Dun Drum there. I can't remember. His what price he came back. His price got better for about two or three minutes and everything. I was at the races. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, I that's why you, you were drunk. drunk. I didn't see it. I wasn't actually. I was driving, but I didn't, he went completely I didn't the wrong it. way. Like he, oh, he, he bolted off right, and Rachel was just is, a passenger, which probably marks up his his form um, of that run. If he wasted a lot of energy, because um, it's a long way around Leperstown. It's a big old mm. galloping track. Um, but yeah, no, I think he jumps so well. I think he, when he jumps well, he's it's when he's in tight and it's in, he's in wrong to them and he just gets over them and gets away from them so fast. Um, I think he's tailor-made for the Arco and he'll take a while to beat. I, I think he's still value at five to two. I think he, he should be close enough, what, seven to four, six to four for what he's done. He's a dual grade boom winner. He's he's beat Fakir Duderi, give him seven pounds. He's beat Cashback. He'll beat Bruno up a storm. He, he'll he beat the rest of them. Like, he's head and shoulders above the rest of them. It'll be a f notebook cashback forecast. That's the first two. So I, can't, I can see Fakio Dudery going to the marsh. Why? I don't know. I don't Not think they're going to step up. But, but I, wish they, I wish they were stepping up. No, I, they should step up and trip because they were, they were getting seven pounds on notebook. Now they're off level weights. Hmm. Where's the logic you're going to beat them? Yeah, no, I can't see him beating him now. So, I think I think if Mark Walsh could get that ride back that day, I think he'd go on a bit better. He'd go he should have. He rode him wrong that. Quickly. He rode him yeah, wrong that day. If you look at it that way, he would have given Notebook more of a lead then. I think Notebook just idles when he hits the front. And for what he'd done at Leperstown to still have enough in the tank to be cashback, who's an absolute lunatic for a front runner. And you think Notebook, he jumps fast and he gallops and he goes a good pace and he just keeps going. He's a tailor made arc. That's what you need for the arc. He's a tailor made, yeah. I um I really respect Notebook, but I just don't think 
the Cheltenham is just never, we were talking even about Envoy Allen, which we'll obviously get on to. It's just never as easy as it looks on paper. Uh, go back, your stats, man. Go back through the stats of this. How many favourites have won this race? A lot. How many favourites have you been beating at Cheltenham? This race. I'm only on about this race. For me, I'm, I'm back. In, well, I haven't backed already. I won't back him again, brewing up a storm. I haven't backed a better price. So. I can't get this brewing um, up in a storm. I think he's probably about the best of the English, though. So. The race will be over for the time he gets started. He's very slow. I, I think that he needs heavy ground to even be oh, yeah. considered a place of this. Going so fast and then up that hill. It's the only something thing. is going to, something something at a bigger price. Yeah, he w- he won he won over two miles. It's not going to be a, a Carlisle or it's something. It's not going to be as easy like he, like you said. No book oh. cashback. That's just not the way it's going to be. But it why not? Works out that way. Like. You tell me. Real Roll Fifth has no hope. Global Citizen needs a flat track. Global uh, Citizen definitely needs Esprit, a flat track. Esprit de Large. He could, no. he could run well. Like. Yeah, he was not going to beat No Book. Esprit de Large could run well. It's so it's like it's there. It's obvious. It's so obvious. No Book is head and shoulders Esprit the best Large, horse in it. Esprit de Large is a great one winner as well. Like. Who did he beat? He's still a great one winner. And what did the fellas he beat do after? An actual track that you have to jump around as well. Like, Yeah, I wouldn't knock him too much. Now, what I would say about this, and I said it on Friday, is there's some amount of pace in this race. Global Zittenson is a tear away. Cashback is a tear away. And Fakadudari is surely going to be ridden more positively now. Notebook likes to be up there as well. And what we're saying is Notebook, if he can sit in behind and he settles, which hopefully he should, like, he should be in a prime position. Now, I can see them going too fast and taking each other on. So, brewing up a storm, I could see him maybe running onto a place if it's soft ground. But I just, I think it'll, there'll be at least two got away from him by the time he gets into it, I think. Yeah, I D- totally agree with that. This is the reason I'm going with brewing up a storm, but I obviously think he's a better horse than you're giving him credit for. But I do think there's a massive possibility they'll go way too fast in this. I think there is as well. And I think, I think there's horses there, like that global citizen, in his younger days anyway, is an absolute lunatic. Cashback is an absolute. Global Citizen is going to be up at the pace as well if he if he goes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like he'll try and goes. He'll try, he'll try and be in hate. It's not like I don't think they're going to have an option. Like Rachel will hopefully have an option yeah. to tuck in. Mm. She can lead or tuck in, but this I think is, some of them are just going to go. This is why, like Bruno Up Storm is obviously a little bit slower, but he will not go up the front. He'll be happy to sit in behind. Mm. And the reason I really respect Notebook because out of the tearaways, the three or four tearaways, I think he's the one that can be ridden with a little bit of restraint. Fakir ain't going to win if he's not ridden prominently. He showed that already. Cashback yeah. has to be ridden prominently. And Global Citizen is going to go so fast to try and beat mm. him all anyway. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of pace on it anyway. It's a good race. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I had a notebook all day for me. Anyway. I'll take notebook as well. Uh, right, head on to the mayors. Go to the mayors. Go to the mayors. Go to the mayors. We finish with the champion. Can we do the handicaps? Can we break the handicaps up each day as well and do, do them each day? Do you want to? Yeah, we'll have a little production meeting on air here. Yeah, I think I think we we'll break the handicaps up because Sound for tell me because I don't have that for the first day. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> no, if you don't have anything, we'll just skip. There's some I don't have anything for either, but we'll, we'll go. Yeah, it's with it. mostly yeah. the main races anyway. Isn't there? Yeah. I have a few for the handicaps, but not right. Uh, Mayors, this is God only knows who's run. But eight eleven, Ben needs you. Uh, three to two, uh, Honeysuckle, Roxana is eight. Stormy Island. No, Roxanne is seven, Stormy Island is sixes, and it's 12 to one. Bigger the rest. Surely they're going to avoid each other. Surely. I still don't. I well, who's, was it you said to me that someone's at their short and are drifting for the mayors? Honeysuck has drifted for the mayors. She's drifted. Just, you keep talking, I'll check that. It's uh, just. I just six to four. Oh, that's sports book. Exchange. There it is, exchanges. Yeah, I don't know. Now, interesting to say what Dylan said, wasn't it? He, they, they, he didn't think that Honeysuckle would beat Benny, did you? Yeah. Dylan Robinson, obviously, probably obviously no rights for Emily the Bromhead, and part of the words that came out of his mouth, I don't think we'll beat Benny. He also reckons Honeysuckle is better over two and a half. Yeah. So, so he but it just, I, I, look, I understand all that, but we, we, we said that in the preview night that that's kind of what the preview night taught me about Benny and, and Honeysuckle. The other lads reckon Benny basically hasn't the hope over two miles. I disregard that. I think if she's good enough, she'd be like any power. She'd win over any trip. And the ground is going to be soft on the first day. So I still think... And the fact that they still haven't said she's definitely going for it. I would... Uh, Willie Mullins... You won't know till the day you before. You won't know till the day. They have to avoid each other. Benny, Benny wins this if Honeysuckle is in it or not. So if Benny's going to this, Honeysuckle for me has to go to the champion hurdle. 
All she has to beat is Epitaunt. The rest are absolutely useless. Epitaunt then has the the sickness kind of thing, so you don't know what's going on there. But if the and both of them meet here and we're, whoever, if Honey Sock is not here, if they both meet here, Benny the Duel win this. She's the best. She's probably one of the best horses in training. Whoever, whichever one of these runs and it wins it, they're like, they're a far long better than the rest yeah. of them. I'm beginning to think the two of them are going to run here. So do I. I think it's the, it's the right race trip wise for Honey Suckle. And I think Willie will want to run Benny the Jew in the mayor's race because he'll see it as the most likely race she yeah. can win. Um, so I think I think they'll both turn up. It's going to be a hell of a race. If they Don't do. get me wrong. If they both turn up, it's great. It's going to be a great race. Mm -hmm. It's it's better than a champion hurdle, really, when you're looking at it. Um, but it, there's just nothing that's going to beat this Benny the Duel. Honeysuckle is out of four point two on Betfair, so that's just just over three to one. Um, where she's six to four, fifteen to eight with William Hill, non runner no bet, but six to four with Ladbrokes. So I don't know. Slightly worrying if she's drifted a bit on uh, on Betfair. It's I, kind of a race on the day as well because uh, a lot of the bookmakers will be doing specials on the first day with like money backs for second and third and this thing and that mm, thing. Kind mm. of shop around a little bit and if, if they go against each other and you're obviously not a, an odds-on player with Benny and you think Honey was Honey so has a chance to so come second or third which you, you would okay. be obvious that she'd come second or third you'll get your money back either way. Like. She's going, it's going to be second at worst. Well, at she's, worst. She's, she's way be better than the rest of them but she won't be Benny. No. Okay, well I'm with honeysuckle, so I'll I'll take I'll take Benny on. I'm going honeysuckle. I'm back to already, and I'm not going to change my mind now. Benny, okay. right? So champion hurdle, we have Epicoff ten to three, Benny to do five to two, Penton Hills nine to two, honeysuckle nine to two, Celos Emery thirty to two, but has to be supplemented. Uh, invite Alan Fives. Wow, these prices are all over the place. And Super Sunday tens. Take us away, Tom. Um, bad old race, isn't it? Hard. Um, I don't know. It, it, I got abused for my selection on Friday. Absolutely abused. Really? Um, yeah. It's, so not like it's, a, it's not like us. I'm going straight back into him. Um, Curse Sublime is that each way poke, literally just based on, he was very good in Down Royal in November. Poke. <laughs> he was bad the last day, right? But he ran a, a really good race in last year's Triumph. This is uh, a to be second to Benton Tills. What? This is a load of bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what Emma oh, Kennedy said. To me. <laughs> it is. Right Let's here, be man. honest, Lewis. Look, I don't know. I I I just give him an each race shout. He he came second last year at twenty to one in the Triumph. You know, he could just run a big race out. How bad is Penton Hills? He's bad, but he he's had, worse than Penton Hills. He didn't stop last year. Penton Hills. Penton Hills. Penton Hills. Penton Hills. Penton Hills. Penton Hills has been stopping this year. Like he's been shot. He's um, shit as well. He needs to be <laughs> shot. He needs to be shot. But he's my lad sixty to one. Look, it's an each way poke. I'm I'm as I said to you, I'm not gonna have a bet in this race. You said I am. I I'm gonna have a long hard look at myself if I do have a bet in this. This Chetan, of course you're gonna have a bet. I'm back in the coronavirus anyway. <laughs> you stop now. You ran now this coronavirus to be over. The the coffer. The coffer. Oh Epicoff. Yeah. No. No, we had a good dis we had a good discussion about this Friday and, and she hated it. That sure. Tom's watched the race. Sorry, I've got one back to <laughs> <left with Tom. laughs> He shows after slapping off the ground. No, it's not. It's He's actually going well. I think I'm gonna win, am I? What colour is it? Uh it's the one in a second. Who's that? Nima Hamjok? Uh no, Tom Mullins' is horse. Ah oh, crap, he's gonna get beat. The thing in the red's gonna win. John Queeley's horse is gonna win it. No, oh, my nose hanging like a gate. He's not Tom, he's just shite. <laughs> <laughs> oh wish, here he comes. Nah, the other lads are Ah, yeah, you're fucked. Um, anyway, back to Chetland. We had a good discussion. It's hard to know what's going to win. A, a mayor will win it. Um, I don't think any of the, the Geldens are good enough to give any of the mayors that are in the betting seven pounds. Every time jumps very well. It's just the run last year at Chetland would really worry you. But her form is the best. So going on form. I can't do it. Nah, last year I was that put me off her altogether. She our two wins have been on flat track. One's a handicap and one's a, a it's a great one, but I Jesus think Christ. That pe backed Pentland Hills uh, after a rock. Pentland Hills could grow another leg, you could have six wind operations and he'd still need to start now. He just stops, like as Tom said, like he's had to be shot. Can't have him. A nine to two, give me a hundred to one to slow him back. Not a chance in hell is he going to win. If Benny or Honeysuckle turns up, one of them will win. If not, I think Silas Emery has a great chance of winning this. I think it's one of these races where not anything can win it, 
But there's so many bad horses and you just need that one with that small bit of class to win. And Silas Emery is a class enough horse. He'd be uh, he'd be my second pick in it, but I mean, I'm just I disappointed to have bad races. That For, I'm the, not what you need to do, Tom, is get rid of your first pick <laughs> and just go with Silas Emery. Yeah. He's, yeah. a, he's a nice little price for you. He's an 8-1 to one each way shot. There you go. He's not 3-1 to one now, I know. Sorry, but he's 8-1. to one. Yeah, he's too big for me to back each way. I'm high, Tom. Um, yeah, look, he's, he's got a good chance, but it's disappointing that it's so bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's mm. cat. No, I don't think the two mares will turn up here. If they turn up, it's a hell of a race. I don't think they will. Then you've got Epiton, Pentland Hills, Silas Emery, Super Sunday's the full favourite. Like, mm-hmm. Jesus Christ, give me a break. Yeah, he's. I look. I give him a chance, but like he should be a twenty to one. What'd you give? What in a normal you give? champion hurdle, he's a twenty to one shot. Everything has a chance, but like stop. anything has a chance in this. No, he'll win at Aintree. He won't win at Cheltenham. He won that two and a half mile at Aintree. He won't win this. No, he's he's in better champion hurdles than this, though. I tell you that much. That's true. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm Silas Emery and Benny are honeysuckle if one of them turn up. So that's three of them against the field. No, it's whichever. <laughs> if Benny or Honeysuckle turn up, it's whoever, which one of them turns up. If none of them turn up, it's Silas Emery. Imagine if they both ran here and Roxana's like sixth full favourite for the match. Could you imagine? <laughs> well, Stormy Ireland. Could you imagine yeah, how quick Stormy Vega Ireland. come out of a tournament? Stormy Ireland would win. Stormy if, Stormy if, if none of them... Oh, Stormy they, Ireland win if none of them win. Yeah, Stormy Ireland win. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, I'm Silas Emery anyway. Epitant. Curse please. Can't even keep a straight face saying it. Oh, what's next? National, National Hunt Chase. Chase. Moving on swiftly from Four that. miles slash three miles yeah. nicks. As I said already, if you don't like the fucking race, don't fucking watch it. Stop giving out about horses fun. <laughs> As Ted Watch said, go back and watch Barney. The drop in trip is going to make no difference to this. Though. No, carefully That's select. Still the same. Yeah, look it's at still going to be the same. Right. And if this is soft ground, this is going to be car crash TV. Right, we're going to be honest. I love it. <laughs> we'll be honest now. The, the sound stopped a few minutes ago, so we're doing this again. And Jesus since since we right. recorded this, oh, his price has moved. His price is ah, carefully yeah. selected. It's gone to seven to four from two to one in the matter of and minutes. Maybe someone heard us outside and got on. Oh, that's Chris's money on it. So <laughs> as I said in the other video, that just is it's no working. longer. It's working. Yeah. It's working. Um, uh, it's a simple race for me. If Copperhead doesn't run, carefully selected will win. But I'd say it's going to be very short if Copperhead doesn't win, doesn't run. Yeah. Um, if Copperhead runs, I'm all over Copperhead. Yeah, be kind of leaning towards that he is going to RSA because you would have heard that Jamie Cotter or someone's riding him already. Yeah. No, I love Copperhead goes to RSA because I'm all over him for the RSA. And if he does, but if he runs here, I'll back him in yeah. whatever race. I'm all over carefully, carefully selected. I think I think he jumps carefully, but I'm. Sh- um, I think he travels well, but he relaxes. Oh, man, he's torn on me there. That's that was bad, Jesus Christ. Mm. Yeah, he, I think he travels well for this. I think he relaxes enough. Um, but I also think he's got a little turn of foot if he needs it. Um, second of the champion bumper, like he's got the champion course form. Um, he's been the one laid out for this for a very long time. Um, so yeah, I think I think he's going to take a world of eating. I totally agree. Even on back form, over his hurdles form, he's head and shoulders above everything in this. Battle over Diane, as Dave said, is probably the cause of coronavirus. Um, that was a good joke in the last one. Well, so we had some yeah. good jokes, didn't we? I tried to get it in again. Uh, one at each way price, I won't put anyone off back in, is Springfield Fox. Uh, two for two over fences at the win by 16 lengths and 20 odd lengths the last two runs. Seems to stay all day. He'll give him a jump and lesson out in front. He, uh, if at worst, he'll be the last one standing if they fall. Yeah. And but, few, a lot of them will fall. But carefully selected should take the world a beat. Are we doing handicaps? We're doing that. We'll fly through handicaps. We'll fly through handicaps. Ultimate. Now, before we start on this, we mentioned the person's name in the last video. We're not mentioning his name. We are not mentioning the person's Why? name. Because they could get in trouble for this now. They could actually get in trouble for this. So we're not mentioning their name. We didn't record on, on soft, Friday. Huh? No, no, we didn't record on Friday and people were able to say things. And this person... Only said something to be quietly so. All yeah, they have right. to do is go back in the video and see what's next to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. there are people either side of me, so no, we're fine. But anyway, Dave, Dave, you got fancy for this, who I really fancy as well. Yes, so. Discord. We all actually fancy him. Discord, we all do man. fancy him. Yeah. Um, he's running two Cheltenham festivals. Second in the Martin Pipe, he should have won. Second last year, he was outstayed by just an absolute door stay. Bad riding the Martin Pipe uh, on that jockey, wasn't it? What? 
<laughs> bad ride, Dylan. Oh, I'm five. Um, the race last year, he just travelled around Cheltenham like the best horse in that particular race and just got outstayed. He was still fighting all the way to the line, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I think this will suit him down to the ground. He just looks... You will love a plot job, Andrew. This, to me, looks like this oh, it's has a plot been job. the plan all year. Oh, look, um, let's run over hurdles at Christmas time for the crack. Hurdles over Christmas, uh, like a non troyer almost, in a hurdle race over Christmas. Heavy ground down. Uh, uh, get Dylan on him, get the three pounds off, make up for last time. And then the races he's been running in over chases are, they might be just a little bit above his level for the weights he was carrying. Drop the weight a little bit, back, in, back over Cheltenham. Prime for the day. I think it's a plot shot. Yeah, I, I think he's on form and on paper he's got a really good shout. But that person anyway, we were putting up handicap shots and Dave, Dave, I knew Dave was putting them up. And, what, was, and what did Tom do when this I person was said that he has well. no chance? Tom didn't say anything. <laughs> Tom, said, Tom changed his opinion. <laughs> Backbone gone. I left him alone and I said, good luck, Dave. Um, so this is Dave's horse. This is Dave's horse, to be fair. No, I think he's got a very good chance. On paper, he's got a good chance and he looks like a horse who's, who's really been laid out for this. So. Yeah. He's still up to the Nolans. I totally agree what the two lads said. This grammar looks like a plot job. Course form goes for a lot when you go to Cheltenham Festival. Plays twice, second twice in two Cheltenham Festivals. This could be third time lucky. Yeah. The other horse we were going to pop was um, a Kildasar. Like he's, he's had two runs at Cheltenham. He's won once. He was fourth uh, in the JLT behind Deffy last year. That looks like really good form. Um, ben Pullen's team haven't been in good form this this season really but they're starting to come back out of it now he's starting to get a few winners and he is one that should be banned there as well yeah right next handicap what do you want to do next handicap the Northern, Northern Trust. Trust man you're in charge of a computer today um, I put both of these horses up that I'm putting up in the video today at the preview don't tell me the preview night lads what? how is this somebody out there is listening to us he's had to shorten in again literally he was eight so we put up Galvin when we recorded this first. I, I didn't. Well, me and him I, okay, did. I did. And he uh, did, and I followed him. I put it up, and Andrew followed me, yeah, whatever. But <laughs> how, how is that possible? Carefully, in the last... That's like, like 10 minutes 10 ago. 10 minutes. Galvin and Carefully Selected both short with Ladbrokes. Um, James is after putting something I in. I don't know. Something. J yeah, James from Ladbrokes is after... Uh, after Miking us up there somehow and, and sponsorship for the year, James. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that happened. 